Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. This is the 11th video in this Facebook marketing course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about how to get that verification patch, that blue tick in your profile or your Facebook page. Well, that blue tick or that verification badge is very precious for some people because that verification badge tells the public that this is the verified account and you will be assured that this verified account is the original one belongs to the original public figure. And in this video, we are going to tell you or demonstrate you two methods in order to get that verification badge. And the first method is for only profile and the second method is for both profile and page as well. Many people run a scam under this. They say that they will get you verified in Facebook. They will get your account or your page verified in Facebook and they charge X amount of money from you and they get vanished after that. They'll give you different different type of reasons, types of reasons that uh, your account got rejected, your verification process, your request got rejected and many more. So you don't have to go anywhere. You just have to follow one of these two methods and you will be able to submit your request to Facebook to verify your Facebook profile or your Facebook page. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, we have logged in into our Facebook account. And as I told you, there are two methods to verify, to submit the verification request for your uh, profile or for your page. So let's go with the first one where we can uh, verify only our Facebook profile. So let's go with it. You just have to click this account icon, then come a little bit down, click on this settings and privacy. Then again, settings, scroll a little bit down in the left hand side corner and you will be able to see that generalist resources. Click on this. Once you click here, you will be redirect to the uh, form where you have to fill all the details and submit that information for the further verification process. Okay. So, and here are the benefits mentioned over here as well, that safety and protection measures that if your account uh, get verified, you will get extra safety and protection uh, with your account. Okay. And then that blue badge verification, that's the charm of uh, verified account, blue verification badge, blue tick. Then uh, crowd tangle search. This is that one, some of the extra perks that verified accounts get. Okay. And many social media accounts that if your account get verified in respect to social medias, you will get many types of extra perks that normal user don't get. Okay. Then we have updates on special features. So if there is a special feature in Facebook, you will get early access or the uh, early update on this, on that features. Okay. So these are few features and this one is the most prominent one, that blue badge, that blue tick. So now let's fill out the form, scroll a little bit down. Here you have to choose your role that which, from which industry you belongs to. So let's say I'm a blogger. You can choose multiple uh, options as well, like others, writer, I'm a writer, blogger, editor. So totally up to you. Let's say I'm choosing blogger and other. Okay. Then you have to enter the professional email. Uh, for example, if you are situated, if you are working with an organization, news organization, especially to be specific news organization, if you are associated with that organization and they have provided you an email, professional email address, please enter that email address here to get the chance to get uh, to increase the chance of get verified okay so let's say uh, for example this is for the demo purpose okay not i'm not filling filling the original details here i'm just filling to show you so i just let's say i have added saurabh add saurabh is my name uh, is my name and this is my organization's domain right then hit the submit button so as i have told you that you have to add only news organizations which are associated with Facebook. So I got the dialog box here that says the email you provided is not associated with a Facebook registered news page. Submit your credentials in the next step to complete your registration. So here are the credential options where we have to add the uh, credentials, add some extra information to get verified in Facebook. So here you have to enter those URLs. Let's say uh, you got featured in some of the most famous or renowned uh, news organizations in their websites, uh, newspaper, e-newspaper to be specific. 
So if you have got featured in those websites, you just have to enter those URLs. Let's say one of my article, I got featured in New York Times. So I just have to copy that article from New York Times. Let's choose this one, copy this URL, go to Facebook back, paste the URL here, then add, click on add button. So as you can see, the Facebook, the platform has automatically recognized that this article is from the New York Times. Let's add one more Bloomberg. For example, I got featured in Bloomberg as well. So I just have to copy that article's URL. I copied, I came back to Facebook, I paste it here. And once I hit this add button, this will automatically uh, recognize that this article is from Bloomberg. These are the demo ones, but if you are adding the information, you have to add the original ones where you are, uh, where you got featured, right? Then after adding those uh, five URLs, let's say if you have uh, only three or four, that's okay, you can fill in. But if you are famous, if you are a public figure, that's obvious that you have more than five, right? Then we have staff directory. So if you are associated with news organization or any uh, organization, news, uh, prominent, famous news organization, and you are added in their staff directory. So you just have to enter that staff directory's URL here, uh, actually website URL here. So let's say, I don't think it will take my company's URL, but for example, let's say I am, I have added, because it is not the registered news organization with Facebook, right? So it will, I don't think it will take. Yeah, as I've told you that. This link is not tied to a registered news page on Facebook. So I have to add a registered news page link. So let's say I'm choosing New York Times. I add it here, I added the New York Times. Once I hit submit button, it will automatically recognize that I have a staff directory in New York Times, okay? Then there are few additional benefits that opt in to automatically apply for a blue verification badge. Obviously, that's the main feature of your verified account, right? Blue is one of the important thing in verified account, right? Then we have extend safety and security protection to your Instagram accounts. Obviously, yes, but it's totally up to you. You want to choose? Well, well, that's okay to choose, right? You should choose. Then after adding all the details, you just have to hit the submit button. Well, I'm not submitting these information because these are for demo purpose. These are not real. Let's say if I add the submit button, it will show you that your team, our team is reviewing the information you submitted. So it, sh uh, it is that the, your details, your information is submitted to the Facebook and they will now verify all the details. They will review all the details. And if your details meet the cri Facebook's criteria, you will get verified on Facebook and your account will get that blue tick, that verified badge and extra perks that which are mentioned here. This one is the first method. Let's go to the second method, uh, which can be used for your Facebook profile and for the page as well. So let's go to the new tab and here search for blue tick form. And the first, here you will get the first link that says request a verified badge on Facebook. So this uh, article is from Facebook Help Center, the original one. Click on this link and you will be get redirect to a Facebook Help Center's uh, one of the article where you will get the verification process and the requirements to uh, get verified on Facebook. So here is the form that you can fill out this form to verify your Facebook profile or page. So click on this link and you will get redirect to the uh, that form. Now here the first option is what are you verifying? So here, as I've told you that in this method, you can, with this method, you can verify your both Facebook page and profile. As I've told you about the profile verification process. So let's go with page verification. But here I don't have any page associated with this account. So you have no eligible admin pages here. That's what it is showing here. But for the demo purpose, we can proceed further. But if I had a Facebook page, it would have shown here. I just have to select that page that which one I want to verify. Okay, then step one confirm authenticity. So I, in order to confirm the authenticity, I have to submit uh, one of my document. And as I live 
in India. So here are the options in India which I can submit to Facebook to verify to confirm my authenticity, right? So first option is driver's license, face uh, passport, national identification card, tax filing documents, recent utility bill, then articles of incorporation. Well, I'm choosing the passport. Okay, then I have to add that document that scanned or the clear image of that uh, document. You just have to choose from your computer and then open it here. Okay. Then the second step is confirm notability. So in order to confirm that, uh, confirm your notability, you have to choose the category first. That from which category you are belong to, right? So I'm from digital creator, blogger or influencer. I'm uh, associated with this category. Okay. Then you have to select the country. It is already showing India here. I'm from India. Okay. Then after choosing the country, here are some optional options that you have to fill. It is totally up to you. But uh, if you have the data for the these options, you should fill because it increases the chances of getting verified. Okay. First option uh, is in audience section that describe the people who follow your page or profile, include who they are, what they are interested in and in why they follow. Okay. So for example, not for example, this is the real that my uh, audience follow me for digital marketing things okay so i'm choosing digital marketing and then one more option is here also known as and it says list all the name the person or organization your page or profile represents is known by include different name and the same name in other language so you have to add all the name or the organization or in other languages which are represent or which can be represented as you so you have to enter all those details here. Although this option or this option is optional, but as I've told you, to increase the chances of ver getting verified, you should fill this. Then we have add up articles as we have done in the previous method that you have to add those links here. Let's say I'm adding, I copied this link, I pasted here, then one more link, the link in which I got featured, right? Then after adding the links, then adding all the details, I just have to hit the send button. Okay. All right now I don't have any page situated with this account. That's why it is showing this that it looks like you forgot something. Please fill in all the information required. But if I would had the page, it would get, it will get submit all the details to Facebook, right? So here it is showing that I don't have page associated with this account. And even I don't added the document proper document here. So this was the method to get verified in Facebook, but there's one catch that this is the method to submit all the details. But if you are not meeting the criteria of Facebook's Meta's criteria will not verified either. Okay, so you have to be properly follow or you have be meet the criteria of Facebook in order to get verified. Okay, whether it is your profile or whether it is your page you have to meet the criteria of Facebook. So these both methods to submit, once you submit the information, Facebook will review and after reviewing it, you will get the uh, conclusion that your account is verified, get uh, your account got verified or not, will get all those details in your Gmail associated with this account. Okay, so this was it for this video. I hope you liked the video. I hope you understood everything, each and everything. If you have any question or query, please comment down below and we'll answer as soon as possible. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.